The CURS, which is uh, much talked about at the moment, stands for Kinetic Energy Recovery System. Uh, it allows us to recover a relatively modest amount of energy from, from the vehicle's brakes, store it in a device uh, such as a battery or flywheel, and then uh, use it at a later stage for acceleration with uh, the press of a button on the steering wheel that will be controlled by the driver. The technology itself is derived from the high-speed centrifuge technology which is used to process uh, nuclear fuel. The system has a high-speed flywheel which has an, an integrated electric motor. The gearbox on the car also has an electric motor. Under braking, the electric motor on the gearbox works as a generator and that speeds up the flywheel and stores energy. Then under acceleration, the flywheel has energy taken from it by its electric motor and that's passed to the electric motor on the gearbox to, to assist in acceleration. This particular system is unique. Uh, the flywheel is wholly composite and this means that we can spin faster than other competitive flywheels and also the overall weight of the system is lower which gives the best compromise of uh, power of her unit weight. The biggest difference to the, um, to the performance of the cars, I think, and to the F1 spectacle will be the increased uh, amount of overtaking manoeuvres. In the regulations, everybody's allowed to have a certain amount of energy per lap which is the equivalent of about 60 horsepower for six seconds. So if one car has used its lap's worth of, of energy and another car is, is about to overtake, that will be enough to actually enable that car to overtake when it maybe wouldn't have been able to otherwise. The CURS is quite clearly a technology that's put in place to uh, exploit engineering potential of the teams to, to help with the uh, general energy problems that we face at the moment. It's something which is very important for road car development at the moment. And it's an area that road car people are struggling a little bit with, with the technologies they have. So I think that the developments which are being done in Formula One will have a positive effect on, on road car development. There are lots of other industries which will benefit from um, energy recovery. Obviously, apart from road cars, there's buses, trucks, the reason they're not doing it at the moment is largely because the technologies are not well developed enough. So with the push that comes, I think, from Formula 1 developments, I think there will be a trickle down to those other industries.